Hi, I'm Linda Jeffers. Could you tell me who you are? Hi, I'm James Perry, uh, Executive Director of the Greater New Orleans Fair Housing Action Center. And could you tell me what today is, sir? Uh, today is the sixth anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, uh, August 29, 2011, and it's, of course, a, a, a sad occasion uh, where we um, think about the lives that were lost uh, in uh, one of the greatest disasters that America has ever seen, Hurricane Katrina. <coughs> Could you tell me from um, August 29th of 2005 to now um, what you see as victories or things? Everybody talk about the bad things. Could you just identify some things that are to the positive that will bring people back and that are good as far as people are concerned? Um, and I'm sure you can. I'm sure everybody's very familiar with you, Mr. Perry and the work that you've done, how hard you fought, you know, to bring us to where we are now. So could I get you to give me, you know, some joyful things as well as the trials and tribulations that you, you know, had to deal with to get to where we are now, to bring us to oh, where we are now. I think that um, it's a great success to, uh, to be at about 350,000 residents in the city. You know, there was a period in time when people thought no one was going to come back. And so uh, the fact that so many people back go back is a great thing. Um, I think that um, we've seen a new uh, and different, uh, incredible spirit in New Orleanians, uh, something that I certainly hadn't experienced before. And, uh, and I suppose it's because after going through such a difficult and turbulent experience, uh, you come back stronger and more committed. You know, the fact is that it was really... Um, it was easier for a lot of people if they, if they didn't come back. And so when you have folks who are back in the city right now, it's because they want to be here. It's because they have a real, a tangible love for the city of New Orleans. Uh, and so it means that we are a, a richer um, and more resilient city than uh, we were in the past. Uh, uh, when it comes to some of the difficulties, of course, we've seen a road home program that uh, didn't work well. It was a program that was uh, set up by the state and federal government to help people rebuild their homes. And, uh, but I'm proud to say one of the things that we accomplished at the Fair Housing Center is that we were able to uh, litigate against the Road Home Program and force them to pay more money to um, people whose homes were destroyed by Hurricane Katrina. And so we, we were able to get $62 million allocated to help people to rebuild their homes. And so we think that that's a great victory that hopefully will help people get uh, into their homes. We've also seen in um, uh, areas close to New Orleans, like for instance St. Bernard Parish, that they've worked against affordable housing. And, uh, and I'm happy to say there that we've had really great court victories that have opened up housing opportunities in St. Bernard Parish. Okay. So do you see people as we speak now um, being able to actually get the dollars that you guys have fought so hard for? I, I hope so. I mean, you know, um, now that the money is allocated, the next step is actually getting the money on the ground. And, um, and that sometimes is the hardest part. And uh, so we're optimistic. but. We have to see it through. We have to uh, make sure that this process is complete and that people are made whole. And, and look, and here's the other thing is that while that $62 million award is uh, a great success, it's still not enough. Uh, we still have a lot of work to be done, and so we intend to uh, redouble our efforts and continue to stay committed until we get every person into their home. So will these dollars be available for all people that have received road home dollars and uh, there's been a form of discrimination, will these dollars be basically directed toward disabled and elderly people? It's um, actually a pretty strict group of people who uh, get money under the settlement. Uh, if you have received the road home grant and, uh, and your uh, grant calculation was determined using the option one portion of the grant program, and you have not um, been able to return your home into livable status, then under this program, uh, you can get uh, money to rebuild your home. You can get an additional grant to rebuild your home. And, and so it's, it's, it's pretty strict. And so it, does, it doesn't matter um, if you're elderly or if you have a disability or any of those issues. It's really straightforward that you have to have been an option one grant recipient and, um, and didn't get enough money to get back into your home. Okay. So you're talking about people that might have got 13, they should have gotten 40. Sure. Right. All right, okay. I really sincerely appreciate that. And this is the anniversary, the sixth anniversary for Katrina. Have you seen a lot of, uh, 
I have not seen very much activity here today. You know, th th I think there has been a lot of activity. I think that the, um, but when you think about the day, it's a, it's a difficult day, you know, um, and um, there are a lot of people who lost family members. Uh, there are people who went through just an incredible stress and trauma. You know, I talked to um, a, a woman whose mother uh, ended up on the roof of her home in St. Bernard Parish for four days waiting for help. And uh, at this point, six years after Katrina, she has not been back to that home to visit, not one time. Uh, she refused to go back because it was so stressful, such an incredibly horrible trauma for her. And so I think that, that everyone um, is in their hearts and in their own way um, commemorating the horror that was Hurricane Katrina. Uh, and, and so there, of course there were a lot of city events, but I think a lot of people took this time to um, to think about uh, what it was to them. I understand you. I, it, with me it's a thing of just just kind of gathering, and I guess I might be more glad than ever to not see parades, because I never thought Katrina was something to celebrate. So I, I agree with you. Did you make the uh, occasion on the uh, Danziger Bridge? I did not. I did not. Okay. All right. All right. Have you talked to very many elected officials? Um, Today, no, I have not. I haven't talked to them. All right. Okay. Well, we sincerely appreciate all your good energies, your efforts, and we know that you're going to be here for us. Tell me, what would you like to see people and organizations do in order to unite with you to make what has been put on the table for the road home with additional dollars to be able to support and to make the efforts that are out there stronger and most of all to make it happen? Well, I mean, the, the main issue is that folks can't give up, can't quit. You know, um, the folks who make policies that sometimes are bad and have a negative effect on our communities are regular people. And, um, and we can touch their hearts and convince them and get them to do the right thing. Um, and if they violate the law, then we can use the law to push them in the right direction. So uh, I just encourage everyone to visit our website. If you're entitled to support from the program, um, use the calculation sheet on our website, gnofairhousing.org, um, and, and follow the process so we can help you to, uh, uh, to get more funding. And, uh, and if you need more help, then let us know and, and let's get the advocacy going. Um, because we have a lot of work to do. All right, Bridge the Gulf gets out to thousands of people throughout the Gulf Coast. And uh, we will feature you, and we're looking forward to, and I know you will have a number of people that will embrace you. Could you tell us what you would be expecting us to do as far as, far as advocacy work? Um, well, you know, I think it's different for different people. And, um, and, and I, I think that, uh, that as we have those conversations on a one-on-one -on -one basis, everybody will have a particular role to play. It may be a phone call to uh, the President or Congress, or it may be showing up at a, at a march, uh, or it may be being a litigant um, in court. Uh, and different roles for different people. But the main thing is that you've got to show up and commit yourself. And how does the mayor of the city of New Orleans feel about this? Uh, you know, I, Could I, you voice that? I haven't, uh, I haven't talked to Mayor Landrieu about about these particular issues, you know. But I, I know that uh, that the mayor is, uh, is is committed to the city and that he, he loves the city and wants uh, the city to do well. Thank you so very much, and I love you, and I appreciate you sharing this with us. Thank you. I love you, James. Thank you. Thank you very much.